Hello, I'm Polina Eschemska, a senior software engineer at HashiCorp for Terraform. Today, I'm going to demo two of HashiCorp's ServiceNow integrations, designed to help platform teams and ServiceNow admins scale their infrastructure cloud adoption with approved configurations. Both applications are available in the ServiceNow store for free, they are certified, and available for both Terraform Cloud and Terraform Enterprise. With that, let's jump into the demo. Let's talk about the service catalog for Terraform first. The integration is available in the ServiceNow store under the name Terraform, published by HashiCorp. It works really well for organizations that require limited user access and tighter controls over infrastructure security. By combining Terraform Cloud with the service catalog interface, developers can easily focus on building applications and generating revenue for their organizations. ServiceNow admins can securely provision infrastructure using the Terraform code sourced from the version control system attached to the Terraform Cloud organization. Downstream users, such as app developers and operation teams, gain efficiency by interacting with a service catalog interface that is already familiar to them, without needing to know much about the app or how it functions at the core. We recently released version 2.2 of the service catalog for Terraform, which includes execution mode selection for your Terraform workspaces, reduction in the number of API calls between Terraform Cloud and ServiceNow, performance improvements, and various enhancements to Terraform integration testing. With the newest version, you can now select execution mode for your Terraform workspaces. The default value is remote, which executes in Terraform Cloud's infrastructure using a reliable pool of disposable agents. We've also added the agent option. Agent executes in private, isolated, or on-premises infrastructure. This option requires you to create an agent pool in your Terraform Cloud beforehand, and then provide that agent pool's ID in the form when you order a new workspace through the service catalog. By the way, Terraform Free Edition now includes one self-hosted agent. The integration also contains a number of performance improvements. One of the highly requested updates was reducing the number of API calls between the Terraform Cloud and the ServiceNow instance. To achieve this, we introduced additional conditions to the polling mechanisms and reduced it to shorter intervals. Now an average Terraform run with an average workspace and default on-demand polling setup incurs only approximately five API calls compared to the previous 30. Additional enhancements have been made to the Terraform ticket comments. You can now view all of your Terraform run stages along with their corresponding timestamps within the service catalog ticketing interface. Repetitive comments are no longer a concern with the application. The previously introduced Test Configuration button also checks the connectivity between your Terraform Cloud and ServiceNow instance. This is to ensure that the credentials you provide to the application are accurate, allowing you to proceed to the Terraform catalog orders with confidence. Now let's talk about the second application. We're excited to announce the general availability of the ServiceNow Service Graph Connector for Terraform, which allows organizations securely import Terraform Cloud resources into their ServiceNow instance. The integration is based on the ServiceNow Service Graph Connector technology, which provides a framework for mapping and discovering relationships between the organization's infrastructure and ServiceNow configuration items, and then automatically updating CMDB, the configuration management database in ServiceNow. As a result, platform teams gain a comprehensive view of the resources they support. CMDB is the central repository within the ServiceNow platform, which acts as a single source of truth for your infrastructure. It offers configurable dashboards for monitoring and reporting. By connecting Terraform Cloud to your ServiceNow CMDB, you can now view your Terraform provisioned resources alongside the rest of your company's infrastructure. During the beta period, we've collected a lot of great feedback from customers, which resulted directly in the new features that accompany the GA of the Service Graph Connector for Terraform. Those features include importing selected resources from four major cloud providers, secure webhook integration 
between Terraform Cloud and ServiceNow. Workspace Association to show where the resources were provisioned and importing cloud tags into CMDB. The Service Graph Connector for Terraform connects to your Terraform Cloud in order to obtain the latest information about your deployments. The integration doesn't make any API calls to your cloud provider and therefore doesn't ask you to provide any cloud keys. The only thing you need to provide is the Terraform Cloud API token. The permissions of this token determine which resources will be imported into CMDB. By default, the integration connects to Terraform Cloud. However, if you use Terraform Enterprise, you can also integrate it with this application. And if you would like to use the ServiceNow MID server to securely route traffic between your ServiceNow instance and Terraform Enterprise, you can also do that within this integration. Now let's talk about the two modes of import that the ServiceNow Service Graph Connector provides. The integration can be configured to periodically poll Terraform Cloud in order to obtain the latest information about your deployments. The scheduling job setup depends on the size of your infrastructure and how frequently you want your resources to be refreshed in CMDB. The scheduling job makes a request to Terraform Cloud in order to obtain all organizations corresponding to the API token that you've provided during setup. It will import all relevant resources in all workspaces within each of those organizations. As a more lightweight alternative to scheduled import, you can configure Terraform Cloud webhooks in your Terraform workspaces. Webhooks offer an event-based approach to importing your resources. The webhook requests are sent to the ServiceNow instance as soon as the Terraform run is successfully completed in Terraform Cloud. The integration exposes an API endpoint in your ServiceNow instance, which accepts requests from Terraform Cloud webhooks. This connection is secure. Each webhook request contains an HMAC token, and the endpoint verifies the signature of the token using the secret you provide. The ServiceNow Service Graph Connector for Terraform is capable of discovering selected resources from four major cloud providers, AWS, Google Cloud Platform, Microsoft Azure, and VMware vSphere. Selected resources belong to various categories, including compute, storage, networking, database, security. The mapping interface is designed to be easily updated. The ServiceNow administrators have the flexibility to extend existing mappings and add more resources as needed if something is not covered by default. Finally, the application is capable of importing cloud tags into your ServiceNow CMDB. Along with the Terraform tags coming from your Terraform scripts, the integration also pulls Terraform organization and Terraform workspace tags to show where exactly in your Terraform cloud the resource was provisioned. With that, I conclude today's demo. I hope you found it useful. Thanks so much for your time.